Hey YouTube, Shuffle Does here. If you're like me and you got multiple cameras in your arsenal and a GoPro is one of them, uh, I will show you how I keep it dry in the rain. So now that I'm in and out of the rain, I'm going to show you how to protect your GoPro. So if you have, like I do, a GoPro, this is a Hero 4, I have a Quick Connect base on it so that I can put it onto my little tripod and this awesome little clamped articulating arm guy which I also use a lot so you ask yourself why aren't you just gonna buy a plastic case to keep it protected out of the rain well I always have it plugged in so it runs forever and I don't have to worry about swapping out a battery. I don't even know if you can swap out a battery on a four. Either way, I'm also cheap. So if you're cheap or broke or just want to hack something together yourself to keep it dry and out of the rain while you can still plug it in, uh, let me show you. So uh, if you got a dishwasher and you do it every night, grab one of these. Or, if you do a lot of projects, grab one of these. Concept is to keep this little guy in that housing safe and a wide enough so that the wide angle lens isn't affected. So, that's why this is good, nice and wide. Same with this, nice and wide. So the idea here is I'm going to utilize this little base as the attachment point, if you will, to secure the container in this area by just cutting a small little hole for that to go up in and then cutting an area for the thumb screw to turn to get it in there nice and secure. So let's take this apart and lay it out. All right, so with this apart, you can see those two grooves line up with these two. And I want it to go up in here and have room for that screw. And there you have it. So the other piece of this I want to do is make a spot for this, which is just my charging cable. What I'd like is the power to come in the back so that it's protected from the weather as well. So let's cut another hole in the back for uh, power to come through. All 
right, so we have the bottom hole cut out for the power. We have the holes cut out for the camera body and thumb screw, and it's mounted in there nice. So let's go check it out and see how she looks. I got this thumb screw nice and tight. Um, I am able to spin it in there, which is nice, so that I can check out and see what the view looks like and modify the settings. Right now I'm set to video, so looking through that opening in the back, I don't see any of the container. Maybe this, this little corner right here, so maybe we'll nudge it back just a hair. currently sits like that. Look at that. Nothing. That being said, I want power to it all the time, which is what this is for. And I got a power cord that hopefully will smash up in here. Nice tight fit. And then I'm going to plug in the power, and there we go. Full battery, full charge, protective housing in the rain. Now all you need to do is grab your tripod, You're ready to go. So I'm thinking of setting it up over here on the grill. should be out of the way of everything that they're doing. I got this on record. I'm gonna put it over here. Touch this back in there. There you go, all set up. Cool, thanks for watching guys.